everybody, and we're back. My name is Miss Carly Tanager, and I'm playing some Middle Gear Solid 2. Time to take the wibbly wobbly shepherd to the the, the room of cutscene. No, seriously, it's Metal Gear. It's ninety percent cutscene. Do you guys really have time to rest? I mean, let's be honest here. Do you actually have the time for this? You shouldn't. Arsenal gear is being activated and you need to get her to shell, um, basement of shell one. So she can input the virus. Die. I concentrated on your heartbeat. Okay, Shepard. It reminded me of when I was a kid. Where did she put the glasses to keep them anyway? <laughs> I remember my brother giving me a piggyback ride. I was sleeping with my ear against his back. I could hear his heartbeat. Sounds like you were close. We were, back then. We were stepchildren in our parents' second marriages. Wherever my brother went, I used to tag along. Aww. My brother didn't have any close friends, so he used to take care of me. The stepbrother point is important. He loved so much. <laughs> so much that we used to pretend pretend yeah we used to play house my brother was the husband and i was the wife it was a little creepy it was always just make believe we were only kids but otakon's a lot older than her i never had a family but i think i know what you mean raiden what's your status colonel i've got emma emmerich here We've managed to avoid drowning. <laughs> He's so intense about what he said that. <laughs> That's going to be hard with the connecting bridge on the upper level destroyed. Didn't Olga say something about taking the oil fence at the bottom of Strut L? Yeah, I remember that. You should be able to go down by way of Strut L. Try and get over there. What about Emma? She's been injected with something and she can't walk without any help. Remember that. Can't walk without Put any help. Hands of any equipment and hold down the action button to give her a hand. Already did that. To release your grip on her, take your finger off the action button. Emma can sit and wait until you help her back up. And be careful. You won't be able to use any weapons while you're leading her. Now head for I mean, you only take one hand to do it, so it we're shouldn't be that hard. Way. Raiden, we've infiltrated the computer room. What's your situation? Emma's safe. We're heading your way. <sighs> Good job. Shell One's deserted. Looks like everybody's aboard Arsenal. I had a look at the system, but there's nothing I can do. EE's our only hope. Right. I'll put her on then. Help me, Obi-Wan Kenobi. You're our only hope. How? I'll use my Kodak as a relay. Uh, <clears throat> but she already has a Kodak. There she is. How? Uh, EE, is that you? How? EE. This is gonna end well. Um. Why are you involved? God damn it, Otacon! Huh? You knew our family's dark history and still got involved. What's wrong with you? I should have known. Answer me. Why are you repeating the same mistake? I, I wanted to hurt you. I wanted to see you. That is not why she did it. You abandoned me. No, that's not what happened. All right, that's enough. <sighs> Who are you? I'm a friend of Otacon's. I'm Snake. Otacon. Enough with the sibling rivalry. That's not what this is. We haven't got time. <laughs> no, it's a lover spat. <laughs> Get her over here right now. I, I. Gotcha, Snake. I'll head over there with Emma. Most of the enemies aboard Arsenal, but I suggest you be careful. Make sure Emma gets here in one piece. About that. <laughs> Take care of my sister. Don't worry. I'll get her there. One piece. <laughs> I mean, she'll technically be in one piece. All right. Come on, you slowpoke. <laughs> I remember this cutscene being an issue when I played this game briefly for a charity stream. Shell One's computer room. Hopefully, it's not now. That would be annoying. I've got this disc that the president gave me. This disc is supposed to contain a virus that can corrupt Arsenal Gear's operating system. We need you to... This is... This is my program. What? 
Why did the president give it to you? He did. Uh-huh. Did something happen to the president? He did. Dead, dead, dead. Just tell her she's, just tell her that he's dead, bro. <laughs> like the president. He's dead. What? You actually wrote this virus? It's not really a virus. It's more like a worm cluster. It's actually a that delayed effect autonomous program that's designed to invade GW's cerebrum and render its nerve connections useless. You know what GW is? Of course. I created it. Huh? That's gonna be important You're later. Surprised. <laughs> uh, well. Cat got your tongue? I'm sorry. I. How about the Patriots? Ever heard of them? Yes, but I only know what I've been told. Can you tell me what you know? Again, they have time for this. <laughs> but it's hard to put into words. Right. So let's go to the reading me. So let's go to the Kodak. Yes, loud and clear. The president said that arsenal gear was the Patriots' key to supremacy. That's as good a description as any. What exactly is it? It's a massive data processing system capable of controlling information on a global scale. A data processing system? That's right. The system's a social device for maintaining the Patriots' control. You've lost me. Well, in this day and age, information emerges from every direction and is freely distributed. A variety freely. of information <laughs> gathered by servers <laughs> employing the latest in high-speed communication networks and P2P technology is peer rapidly to peer. circulated That's to individuals. In fact, the speed of this circulation process is accelerating on an almost daily basis. The Patriots seem to be afraid of this development. Apparently, they believe that their role will shift from dominant to dominated. Which is funny if you know what they but actually are. Example, you're aware of Solid Snake's anti-metal gear activities, aren't you? Yeah, I know a little about it. Well, that's just a small sample of uncontrolled information. I can guarantee you the Patriots did not want Solid Snake's name publicized. Now, look at it like this. Political scandal, corporate corruption, up until now, the Patriots have managed to keep a lid on these and other self-serving events. But with their existing data processing system, they're no longer able to effectively control the flow of information generated at the individual level. AKA they with don't the like whistleblowers. System, they can fully regulate digital information. High level information can be categorized in stages, given clearance levels and deleted as necessary, never to be seen by the public. By deleting such information, the Patriots can shape the course of history as they see fit. Somebody's bound to catch on. No, the memory capacity, not to mention the lifespan of the average individual, is extremely limited. On the other hand, digital information lasts virtually forever. It doesn't deteriorate. So? Emma's a bad guy, yeah, you guys. 26 letters, right? It could have been 30 letters. What if the four deleted letters were controlled by a program? Impossible. It's not. In fact, something similar is already underway. Do you know how many genes exist in an individual? About 30 a lot. to 40,000? <laughs> right. That's what was announced at the turn of the century. But there's actually 100,000 according to the original theory advanced by the scientific community. Information regarding the remaining 60,000 was suppressed by the patients. <laughs> Why? How would you know? Do you know what a gene looks like? Did you count them yourself? <laughs> there are research organizations. Of course. And their reports have already been subtly altered. They're even beginning to believe the doctored reports. GW is a system that allows the Patriots to decide what will be recorded in tomorrow's history. So what we're talking about is one huge censorship system for deleting information which might be inconvenient to the Patriots. Exactly. The actual physical core for handling the task, GW, is installed in Arsenal. It's the only system in the world with an optic neural AI that has a parallel processing capacity of 980 trillion hammets. I suppose that being a specialist in neural AI and complex logic played a significant role in your association with the Metal Gear project. That's not the only reason. What do you mean? I guess there are plenty of other reasons. Yes, there are. I understand. Do you? So Arsenal Gear was actually designed to protect the GW system, wasn't it? Um, yes. It's armed with everything, including nuclear weapons, and is fully equipped with cyber terrorist countermeasures. Physically and logically, I'm not going to interrupt the cutscene, but GW. I got some shit to is say. Is AI actually capable of controlling everything? No. GW is only the system's core. It's only for deciding what data is stored or deleted. 
the actual subsystem for executing the task exists within our social structure. What? Do you remember the panic that gripped the computer industry prior to the end of the century? You mean the Y2K problem? That's right. If you recall, our government supplied the world with a countermeasure program using the internet at full capacity. The program was distributed to every governmental organization, every key facility throughout the world. In addition, the same program was included in an OS application for distribution among the public. Let me guess. The Y2K countermeasure contained a program designed by the Patriots. Yes, and everything supplied from that day onward contains the same program. Impossible. Do you know how a computer operates? Yes, do you I do, the basic actually. principles on how data is exchanged? Yes, well, I do, actually. He's aware of it, but there's a subsystem in place, and it's about to be activated. Is that why Solidus wants to burn out every electrical circuit in Manhattan with a nuclear blast? Probably, but the overall system isn't actually complete. What? It still lacks the necessary factors for judging situations. I heard they were planning a major experiment in the next few days to provide complex data for GW to study. And suddenly all this happens. Emma, it's not Jokes your on you, this is the thing for terrorists. GW to study. Yeah, you're right. Well, I think that's about all I know. Right. Uh, thanks. I think we'd better head for the computer room. My bird in the computer room. Is he safe? <laughs> the burb. A noisy overgrown parakeet? Excuse me, he's a parrot. Okay, he's Shepherd. My best friend. My only friend. Well, the bird's okay. Good. Did you know that in the old days, miners used to take a canary into the mine shafts to detect toxic gas? Why would they let her take a parrot onto the no, big shell anyway? I really needed someone to talk to. Right. I think we'd better get moving. We've got a little longer to cover than the last time. I'll give it my best. Whatever you do, don't open your eyes. Why not? A dead body, not a pretty sight. No. Nah. Oh. Once we get past it, it'll be too dark to see anything. <laughs> what are those sticks in your head? Lacquer chopsticks. These? They're lacquered chopsticks. They hold your hair in place. Did you know that they're pretty popular in Europe and South America? Can't say that I do. You're not only cute, but smart. Jesus, too. stop flirting. Oh, you have a girlfriend, bro. I'm much more than cute. Okay, let's go. Rose is just screaming in his ear in the codec. <laughs> okay. Point one, Emma's a bad guy. Because her divulging all of this and then also saying that she wrote GW... And she designed UW. I mean, they bring up the reason why she, the actual reason she got involved later. But yeah, Emma's a bad guy. She willingly did this knowing full well what it would do. She knowingly designed and wrote GW knowing what it would do. And knowing what the entire Arsenal Gear project and the control of information. She is like, free speech? Who needs free speech? They don't need free speech. Emma's evil. Um, two, I have a degree in biology. Um, that whole, you know, 40 to 60,000 genes thing, and actually it's 100, th no, that's not true. That's not true. <laughs> there is no, there is no shadowy cabal that is hiding the true number of genes in the human body. The reason why, originally, it was, um, assumed that there was about 100,000 genes, and when they act, when the Human Genome Project was actually done, they found out it was a lot less than that. It's because genes code for proteins. And those proteins can do multiple things. That's why. And then you have things like epigenetics, which is um, extremely complicated, but to break it down to the simplest level is there are things in your cells that can selectively turn off and on certain genes that can then controls gene expression. And epigenetics is something that can be passed down from parent to child without it being genetic. It's a product of your environment, not a product of the genes in your cells. Sort of. Again, it's complicated. I have a degree in this. 
<laughs> this is breaking me more than I thought it would. Because um, the last time I played this game, I did not have my degree. And now playing this as an adult, not only was do I have a degree in biology, but before I switched to a biology degree, I was a computer science degree. So I can also call this game's bullshit on that front. <sighs> so yeah, Emma's evil. The entire thing about biology and genes in there is bullshit. And also... Yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Okay, well, what's my... It's this way. Yeah. It's really hard to see. <laughs> Ah, crap. I just forget how little oxygen Emma has. Dead body! Okay, now we're going this way. Just... Jesus Christ. This fucking game, man. You're fine, Emma. You're fine, I'm- Is this- It's a ducky duck! Okay. Yeah, but like, there's- There's so much bullshit in that statement that it's just- Oh my god. It makes me die on the outside. Okay. We're done with this crap. We're out. So yeah. The thing that especially makes me cringe is the whole, actually, you actually do have a hundred thousand. No, you fucking don't. No, you fucking don't. Yeah, the reason I'm doing this is because Emma is scared of bugs and she actually won't go near the elevator if there's bugs. <laughs> if these bugs weren't there a little bit ago, like, where do they come from? Okay. Get up! It's actually faster to just run over her because it takes her a minute to get up <laughs> if you just go near her and press the triangle button. Again, him holding her hand shouldn't really help her walk. Like, it would be more realistic if she, like, put her arm around his waist or something and he, like, had an arm on her shoulders. Uh, yeah, I'm not dealing with them. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna clear out this area. Hold up. Because I'm pretty sure there's at least one other duder. Yep. You gonna turn around? Hi! How you doing? Turn around, please. Please? Pretty please? With a cherry on top. With beer? <laughs> Beer did it. Freeze. Huh? Oh. Okay. We good now. Now we gotta go get Emma and get the fuck out of here. Doom doom do doom do doom do doom doom. Alright, come on, woman. You got places to be. I seriously, it's, it's so much faster to just run her over than wait for her to get her dumb ass off the floor. Okay, Shepard. Come on, we gotta go take you to Gare. Oh, fuck. Where did you come from, bro? I see you. I see you. Stop. Don't know where you came from. You're unconscious now. Okay, come on, Emma. Doom, 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 doom. Just gonna slowly teeter her way over here. Um. Yeah, I mean, that's all the way over there. Oh, fuck. 
Where are you guys coming from? <laughs> come on, come on, we gotta go. Again, where did that guy come from? Oh, come on. No! Fuck! <laughs> Emma, we gotta go! Emma, we gotta go! Oh, fuck. <laughs> no, that's not what I want you to do. Knock that guy out! Knock him out! Knock him out! Knock him out faster, damn it! Thank you. Emma, come on, we gotta go! Emma, we gotta go! <laughs> we got places to be. So yeah, th my entire rant earlier, that's just me wanting you guys to know, and wanting to make sure you guys know that this game isn't, like, actually trying to tell you stuff like that. It's just, it's not true. Don't believe it. Why are you walking over here, lady? Oh, Jesus Christ. Hey! Don't you be shooting my girl, bro. Where did you even come from? Where did you come from? <laughs> Who's shooting Emma? Emma, what are you doing? Oh. Emma. You are so dumb. <laughs> oh, hey, look at all that blood on the wall. I'm just gonna... Yeah. Oh, good! Somebody put down planks for me to get across. I actually really wasn't expecting those guys to come out there. <laughs> Alright, come on, girl. Guess that door's just gonna be permanently open. Doom, doom, doom. I'm the world's worst babysitter. World's worst? I am a terrible babysitter. Do not let me babysit your children. It will end amazingly for them because I'm actually really good with kids, but uh, you might not like it. I think this is the right way. No, there is no door over there. <laughs> okay, so it's this way. Doom, 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 doom. Too bad I can't give her a ration. I should be able to. Oh, hey, look, it's the phone from Deep Throat. Um, I don't need it. I don't need you to tell me what to do, game. See? I know what I'm doing. <laughs> I've done this before. <laughs> Alright, come on, you freaking lazy girl. Damn it. What's wrong? Break the door down. This door is security level five. I don't have card five. Damn. I mean, she obviously does. She's the freaking system it's in your arsenal. <laughs> she obviously has it. Uh, what the? Are you impressed? You should have told me you had it. Well, the truth is, I just remembered it myself. <laughs> Damn it, woman. STOP FLIRTING WITH HIM! <laughs> He's a taken man! He has a baby mama! <laughs> like, bro. There is a baby mama in the picture. Stop flirting with him. There's two of them. I saw two guns. Hi. 
You're going to see the other guy unconscious. You're going to go over there and kick him in the face, and I'm going to shoot you in the head. Okay? Or I could just miss. He's just going to keep knocking him out. <laughs> I can't shoot him in the hand. God damn it. Pass out, please! <laughs> he doesn't turn around to see the dude! <laughs> also, I'm a terrible shot. Okay, woman, get up. We got places to be. Snore. Wait a minute, where did she get her health back from? Did she get her health back from just chilling on the floor? Did not notice that before. She didn't get shot. Like, woman got shot. Well. This is fine. She has problems with her legs, but she's gonna be able to go down a massive ladder to the seafloor just fine. <laughs> okay. I have a question for you. What is it? How do you feel about heights? I can't say I like heights. The water's higher on my phobia list. Why? Well, we have to go down a ladder. How far down? Just a little. Again, bit. why do you have to talk why to her in the like codex? We've had this conversation before. How little is little? Mm, about 130 feet. Hmm. Think you can do it? Would you take no for an answer? <laughs> no. How are your legs? Better. The numbness is gone. I can climb down on my own. Yeah, okay. Okay, follow me. Numbness from chemical injections? Enough numbness for chemical injections that it would, um, as the ability to walk. Which means that it is probably was a spinal injection she got. Um. Yeah. Yeah, um. She would not be able to use the ladder already. Like, if her legs were numb enough where she was having trouble walking and she couldn't swim for herself, the amount of time it took for me to get from, um, B1 of Shell 2 to this area of the game would not have, even with my monster metabolism i can't get through drugs that quick quick not that i've really taken many drugs in my life but it does take a lot of pain like a lot of pain injections when i'm getting like if we don't hurry it'll be the last surgeries or like tooth extractions done this is gonna end well now it's time for one of the stupidest moments in this game Enemy soldiers, gun ciphers. I don't think we're gonna be able to slip past all that. Looks like it can barely support one person. How much do you weigh, Emma? Are you gonna ask me how old I am next? If you go <laughs> alone, I think you can make it across. This is gonna be one of the stupidest th moments right. in this game. Do you read in me? a second here. Yeah, what's up? We've made it to the lower part of Strut L. We'll have to cross the water from here. Can Emma walk? Yeah, she's okay. The pontoon bridge doesn't look too sturdy. Emma's gonna have to cross it alone. Right. The oil fence. There are ciphers and several guards. Ryden, you're carrying a PSG-1, aren't you? Yeah. It's time to play sniper. Not bad. This spot gives me a good view of the targets. You're going to have to cover Emma until she crosses to Strut E. I'll get there and provide some support of my own. Thanks. Think you can handle it? Yeah, I know the drill. I faced a similar situation in advanced mode level 4 VR training with the PSG-1. <laughs> VR. Uh, guess it's better than nothing. Make sure He's so proud of his Emma. VR training. Right now, with Arsenal's boarding in progress, security should be at a minimum. That doesn't mean it's going to be easy. Given the situation, they probably got claymores in place to make up for the security shortage. Make sure you use your thermal goggles. Right. Okay, I'm heading for Strut E. 
Emma, are you reading me? Loud and clear. I'm gonna clear a path for you from here. She's right How? next to you. Just Sniper talk to fire. her, bro. You're kidding. Trust me. What if I fall into the sea? I, I can't Grab swim. Grab the pontoon. You're doing pretty good a few minutes ago. Grab the oil fence <laughs> if you fall over and climb back up. No for an answer? No. 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 All right, get going. You'll be fine. These two are adorable together, but again, Raiden's taken. <laughs> okay. So I'm actually gonna end the video here. But before I completely end the video, I need to tell you guys why this is a stupid plan. So, better idea. Raiden stays there. And which would give time for Snake to get in position. And while they're waiting for Snake to get into position, Raiden can be systematically taking out all of the ciphers and the dudes from point A to point B. So then the path would be clear because they wouldn't be able to get more people onto um, those areas of the oil fence. So Emma would have a clear walk. So with Emma having a clear walk, Snake at one end, Raiden could... I, I know that they're like, oh, but the the pontoon bridge can't take the weight Raiden can swim Raiden can swim next to the like next to her on the pontoon bridge that way he's with her the entire time across this pontoon bridge and you guys will know in the next video why it would have been able to have a much better ending for this poor woman <laughs> if he had um yeah, my name is Miss Gretchen, and I've been playing some Metal Gear Solid 2. I'll see you all in the next one.